Washington. In the state of Washington, the natural world is bigger than life. The state is littered with dormant volcanoes, beautiful jungles, and tourist-filled islands. Cities large and small, rich with cultural appeal, surround these lush surroundings. Every year, millions of people visit Washington State. For a variety of reasons, travelers and potential transplants flock to the state. There's no better time than now for individuals who haven't discovered what makes Washington so unique, from world-class activities to one-of-a-kind music and cultural communities. In Washington, there are fun things to do and intriguing places to visit in every direction, including the more dry eastern half of the state, where cities like Spokane can be found. A single visit to Washington will never be enough, and even years of residence will not be enough to fully appreciate the state's beauty. Our list of the greatest attractions in Washington State will help you plan your vacation. Number 1. Olympic National Park Olympic National Park is brimming with breathtaking landscapes, from seaside beaches to glacier-capped high peaks. The park encompasses the majority of the Olympic Peninsula and roads only round it, never going through its rocky core. While auto tours are enjoyable, the best way to see Olympic is on a hiking trail. The park's craggy western boundary is defined by iconic coastline spots like Ruby and Rialto Beach. The whole rainforest, with its huge trees and profuse foliage, is only a short drive away from this magnificent stretch of Washington shoreline. The snowy peaks of Hurricane Ridge and the warm waters of Salt Duck Hot Springs are two more prominent sites at the park. Olympic National Park's hiking paths pass through a variety of environments, including a hall of mosses and the family-friendly Merrimer Falls. The whole river trail is a must-do hike for people of all ages. This pleasant hiking trail follows a flat road for 13 miles through the rainforest and river corridor before ascending to the lateral moraine of Mount Olympus Blue Glacier. Number 2. Seattle Center The Space Needle, located within the Seattle Center, is possibly the most iconic of all the city's major attractions. It was created for the 1962 World's Fair and now serves as the focal point of Seattle Center. More of the city's most iconic attractions surround the spinning observation deck, including some of Seattle's greatest museums. The Seattle Center's 74-acre property is home to the monorail, parklands, museums, and restaurants, in addition to the Space Needle. The colorful glass artworks at Chili Garden and Glass, as well as the Franco, Jerry-designed Museum of Pop Culture, are among the interior tourism possibilities. A wealth of art installations, numerous theater and stage accommodations, and multiple garden and fountain settings are all fun to check out at the Seattle Center. And on any bright day in Seattle, the campus offers a fantastic area to stroll outside. Number 3. San Juan Islands The San Juan Islands are located north of Puget Sound, off the northwest coast of the United States. They are a group of 174 named islands, the four largest of which may be reached by ferry. San Juan Island, Orcas Island, Lopez Island, and Shaw Island are the four islands. Friday Harbor, the county seat and most populated city, is located on San Juan Island and is frequently used as a jumping-off point for larger excursions. Each of the principal islands, including San Juan Island National Historic Park, features a mix of galleries, seafood restaurants, and parks. The historic park includes both a British and an American camp from the mid-19th century. The park depicts life at the camp, as well as the combat known as the Pig War. Friday Harbor, East Sound, and Morin State Park, which has one of Washington's greatest campgrounds, are all popular attractions within the San Juan Islands. Sea kayaking, whale viewing, and eating local cuisine are all popular activities on the San Juan Islands. Number 4. Mount Rainier National Park Mount Rainier is a well-known Washington landmark that can be seen for miles in all directions. It's the state's tallest peak, 14,410 feet, and is within striking distance of Seattle, with the mountain itself at the heart of its eponymous national park. The sunrise and paradise parts of the park are two of the park's most beautiful places. Weather permitting, the route to paradise is open all year, allowing travelers to reach high elevations for hiking in the summer and snowshoeing in the winter. On the park's west side, the sunrise region comes up to its name and is well worth a pre-dawn drive. Other hiking trails in Mount Rainier National Park, in addition to the Around the Mountain Wonderland Trail, take visitors through alpine meadows, enormous waterfalls, and ancient forest groves. The park is also bordered by the Pacific Crest Trail, which runs across the country. Number 5. North Cascades National Park The North Cascades are one of the last remaining undeveloped areas in the United States. Anglers, walkers, and wildlife enthusiasts will enjoy the national park that encompasses these mountains. The park shares a northern boundary with British Columbia, 
Canada. On the North Cascade Scenic Byway, a trip through the park rewards you with some spectacular views. The Washington Pass Overlook, the Azure Waters of Ross Lake, and the western-inspired hamlet of Winthrop in the Methow Valley are just a few of the numerous attractions of this drive. Number 6. Puget Sound Puget Sound, which separates the Olympic Peninsula from Seattle on the state's western border, is a watery region replete with inlets, islands, and distinct worlds to discover. All sides of Puget Sound are surrounded by cities and harbors, providing infinite access and places to visit. Sea kayaking, whale watching, and visiting the lively towns that define the islands are just a few of the things to do in Puget Sound. A comprehensive ferry system connects the many destinations in Puget Sound, making day visits and island hopping simple. Whidbey Island, the largest island in the Sound, is a must-see. It is home to Naval Air Station Whidbey Island and the community of Oak Harbor, which is located on the island's north side. Deception Pass State Park, on the island's north shore, is Washington's most visited state park. The rest of the island is quieter and has more rough terrain to explore south of Oak Harbor. Ebbies Landing National Historical Reserve comprises a number of coastline state parks as well as historic farmland. It also features Coopaville, a lovely seaside town where fresh seafood restaurants serve meals right on the water. Number 7. Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument On May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted, lowering the peak by 1,300 feet and leveling much of the surrounding area. A 13-mile high cloud of ash soared into the sky. Almost 150 square miles of forest were destroyed. Buildings were flooded and mudslides claimed the lives of 57 people. Mount St. Helens terrain is still recovering from the enormous event. Today, visitors are invited to learn more about the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument's geological processes. The Johnston Ridge Observatory, located near the end of the Spirit Lake Highway, is one of the most popular spots to observe and learn about the mountain, SR 504. This one-of-a-kind visitor center provides further information about Mount St. Helens' eruptive history and serves as a starting point for several of the mountain's top hiking paths. Number 8. Riverfront Park, Spokane Eastern Washington differs significantly from the state's western half. Apart from Spokane, Washington's second-largest city, the weather is significantly sunnier, farmland dot most of the landscape, and the population density is lower in much of the region. The famous Riverfront Park is a crown jewel of Spokane attractions. Just in time for the 1,974 World's Fair, this enormous parkland received a major facelift. It's now peppered with community attractions, including a 19-9 hand-carved carousel. The Spokane River also runs through the area, and there are various vantage spots from which to view its falls. Gardens, parks, and museums are among the other attractions of Spokane. For the more daring, the city provides access to a number of outdoor playgrounds, including Riverside Park. Mount Spokane, which is close by, offers skiing and other year-round activities. Number 9. Bellingham Bellingham is located north of Seattle and is only a half-hour drive from the Canadian border. It serves as a gateway to a number of renowned Pacific Northwest experiences, including Mount Baker. The town is also noted for its laid-back feel and community emphasis on outdoor adventure, and it has a strong collegiate attraction and culture. Stroll through the Fairhaven Historic District and pop into local art galleries or relax on a cafe patio for a fast introduction to this part of the Pacific Northwest. Western Washington University, located just outside of Seattle, offers an exceptional outdoor sculpture collection among its academic offerings, and its campus is littered with pieces of different sizes. Number 10. Pacific Crest Trail The Pacific Crest Trail, which runs the length of the United States from Mexico to Canada, passes through Washington and passes through some of the country's most beautiful scenery. The Pacific Crest Trail begins at sea level in the Columbia River Gorge and travels north to the Goat Rocks Wilderness, Snoqualmie Pass, and the mountain village of Stehekin before reaching the Canadian border. You don't have to be a long-distance hiker to enjoy the Pacific Crest Trail. Some of the best day walks in Washington, Oregon, and California can be found along the trail. Number 11. Tacoma Tacoma is one of Washington's largest cities, located between Seattle and Olympia. The city, which was once industrial, has since built a number of outstanding museums and cultural sites. The Museum of Glass, perhaps the most well-known, houses stunning, translucent works by world-renowned artist and Tacoma native Dave Chivoli. Visitors can stroll from the Museum of Glass to the adjoining Washington State History Museum across the Bridge of Glass, which is filled with glass sculptures. Number 12. Snoqualmie Falls One of the most popular natural attractions in the state is this 270-foot waterfall. 
Its appeal is boosted by its proximity to Seattle, which is only a 30-mile drive to the west. However, its sheer size gives validity to a visit. Near the falls is a two-acre park with a popular observation deck with many vantage points. The adjacent Salish Lodge and Spa is one of the greatest places to stay within an hour's drive of Seattle. The views from all of the rooms in this four-star hotel are spectacular, but the ones facing the falls are unrivaled. Number 13. Bainbridge Island The Bloedel Reserve is a magnificent 150-acre property on the north side of Bainbridge Island. It once belonged to Virginia and Prentice Bloedel, who amassed their fortunes in the timber industry. And the Bloedel spent more than 30 years cultivating the natural and landscape gardens still seen today. The Bloedel Reserve opened to the public in 1988 and has been a top place to visit on the island ever since. For the price of admission, visitors are welcome to take the two-mile looped hiking trail throughout the property. A must-see stop is the residence itself, surrounded by some of the most intricate gardens. Because of its proximity to Seattle, Bainbridge Island is a popular weekend destination. Other features on the island, such as a grand forest with hiking routes, are also worth seeing. Number 14. Palace Falls The present-day Palace Falls in southeast Washington were created by Ice Age torrents around 13,000 years ago. And today, one of the remaining active waterfalls along this historic floodway, this magnificent exhibition of gravity, Palace Falls was proclaimed the state's official waterfall in 2014 by the legislator. The 200-foot Palace Falls, whether designated or not, is a sight to behold. Palace Falls State Park is the finest place to get a good view of the falls. Three authorized viewing locations provide spectacular views of the falls as well as explanatory information about how they were formed. The park's semi-remote location makes it difficult to visit. There is extremely limited camping in the park, but a nearby Kaoa has spaces near the Snake River. Palace Falls should be visited as early and the day as possible during the summer because this part of Washington is prone to extreme heat. Number 15. Washington State Capitol Building Olympia, located on the southern end of Puget Sound, is a relatively quiet state capital. The Washington State Capitol Building's majestic white dome rises 287 feet over the tree-lined streets in town center. The five-ton Tiffany chandelier and permanent artworks are among the highlights of the building's free, guided public tours. The Olympia Farmers Market, the hands-on children's museum, and the neighboring Nisqually National Wildlife Refuge are all popular Olympia attractions near the Capitol building. Number 16. Lake Chelan Lake Chelan, located at the base of Washington's North Cascades Mountain Range, is a popular destination in the Pacific Northwest for sightseeing, outdoor activities, and wine sampling. The region's vineyards are a big draw, and you can spend the day sipping and exploring at destinations like Vindulac Winery, Karma Vineyards, and Melisoni Vineyards. Take a seaplane flight that takes off and landings in the lake, or go water skiing during the summer months to get a closer look at the beautiful natural terrain. Hiking opportunities abound, and a variety of independent eateries provide farm-to-table cuisine on historic Main Street. Number 17. Spokane Spokane is the largest city in eastern Washington. If you're planning a trip to Spokane, make sure to stop by Riverfront Park, the city's crown jewel. Spokane Falls, one of the state's largest urban waterfalls, is located in this historic park, which was built for the 1974 World Fair Expo. The Clock Tower The Numerica Sky Ride, a gondola that takes visitors over the falls, and the famed Garbage Goat. Yep, it's a thing are among the park's other attractions. Spokane offers local hiking and mountain bike activities, as well as a plethora of excellent restaurants and breweries to satisfy food and drink enthusiasts. A visit to the Bing Crosby House Museum should be on everyone's bucket list.